Good day everyone, welcome again to another episode of Dance Training and today I will discuss to you about the recording of transactions in the books of accounts for service concern business. Ito po ay sa kadahilan ng may request po yung ating isang YouTuber dito at ito po ay para po sa inyo. And uh, I would like to say thank you also to our subscribers. Umabot na po tayo ng 3,170. Sana wag po kayo magsawa. Please uh, subscribe to our channel and we hope to bring you more tax updates in uh, our YouTube channel, Tax Training. Okay, so our topic for today is the recording of transactions in the books of accounts for service concern business. At doon po sa ibang mga videos na natin, ano po ba yung mga uh, books of accounts na na, na pag-discuss na po natin sa inyo. Pag kayo po ay value-added taxpayers, ang mga libro, ito po yung mga manual na books of accounts na dapat meron kayo. Meron dapat tayong uh, sa bad taxpayers, ito po yung uh, libro na meron kayo dapat na uh, subsidiary purchase journal, the uh, ledger, meron tayong journal, meron tayong cash receipt uh, book, cash disbursement book. No? So, We have the journal and the ledger. And then, meron tayong uh, subsidiary purchase journal. At ang isa pa nito is the subsidiary sales journal, which are very important. No? Okay. So, uh, paano po ba yung pag-record ng uh, sa books of accounts, especially yung mga businesses natin na service concern business? So, umpisa pa lang, balikan natin yung requirements natin sa pag-iissue ng resibo. Uh, Di ba dalawa lang uh, ang resibo na dapat nating i-issue ngayon? Sales invoice for sale of uh, goods and then official receipt for sale of services. So, kung tayo ang bumili, kasi tayo yung magre-record niyan sa ating libro as purchases natin, ano dapat ang supporting documents natin for Uh, the purchases ng goods. So, dapat ang i-record po natin sa libro natin are our sales invoices. Ito po yung sample ng uh, sin sales invoice natin. No? So, itong sales invoice na to, ito po yung i-record natin sa ating libro, especially sa uh, BAT, my purchase uh, journal, at saka yung cash uh, disbursement journal natin. No? So, ito po yung sample ng sales invoice. So, halimbawa naman ay uh, bumili tayo ng services. So, ano naman po dapat yung supporting documents natin? The uh, official receipt. Ito naman po yung uh, example natin ng ating uh, official receipt. Okay? Specifically, since uh, service concern business ito, ano po yung resibo na ini-issue natin? The official receipt. Hindi po tayo mag i ng uh, sales invoice. Official receipt po yung gagamitin natin sa pag-record ng ating income. For our purchases, kung bumili tayo ng materials, ng goods, pwedeng sales invoice po yung ilalagay natin. Kasi tayo yung bumili. Pero pag tayo yung nagbenta ng serbisyo, dapat official receipt ang ginagamit. Okay? So, uh, ready na po tayo. At uh, yung ating topic is talagang kompleto po to at saka may mga iba't ibang illustrations para Uh, mas maintindihan po natin. No? So, since uh, recording mo yung pag pag uh, usapan natin po ngayon, yung accounting cycle starts with the recording of business transactions of a concern, service concern business after documentation of the transactions with the proper perspective, complying with the standards under the objectivity principle and reliability of the accounting information. No? So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, saan ba nag-umpisa daw ang accounting cycle? Sa recording of business transactions. And when we say recording of business transactions, ito po yung bookkeeping. No? Kaya nga sabi nga natin, ang dami po nagre-request sa atin na, Ma'am, kumawa na kayo ng video about how to handle uh, letter authority, how to handle audit. No? So, later, magkakaroon po tayo niyan. But, Since audit po yung pinag-uusapan, saan po tayo mag-uumpisa? Sa recording, sa bookkeeping. Kasi useless lang po yung mga uh, 
naririnig ko na ibang mga seminar o ibang mga speakers na sinasabi po nila how to handle tax audit, how to handle uh, letters of authority. <laughs> Alam nyo, kahit anong galing pa po ng lawyers natin, anong galing pa ng uh, tax agent natin, kung wala po tayong supporting documents, hindi tayo nagre-record sa libro, hindi kompleto yung mga records po natin ng supporting documents. Wala pa rin tayong panalo. No? Magbabayad pa rin tayo kasi we are at the mercy of the examiner. Kaya, paano natin i-handle ng maayos yung tax audit natin? Kompleto tayo ng records. Kompleto tayo ng documentation with our business transactions. That's why when I study international taxation, at ang amin pong um, facilitator at saka yung mga uh, organizer are the OECD or the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Ano po yung sabi nila? Please tell your taxpayers, please tell your clients to invest in documentation. Why? Kasi ang pagdodokumento po ng business transactions, it incurs also expenses. No? Kasi idodocument mo lahat yan. Kaya nga, hindi pwede na during audit, saka ka lang magdokumento. No? Hindi pwede yun. Kailan umpisa pa lang yung day-to-day -day transactions mo habang gumagawa ka ng negosyo, dapat may records ka na doon. Kaya nga sa transfer pricing audit natin, which is itong latest natin nga, i-discuss ngayon po dito sa uh, mga online or live streaming po natin, ano po yung sinasabi natin doon? Kailangan ang documentation mo is contemporaneous. And what do you mean by contemporaneous documentation? It should be existing at the time of the transactions. Hindi yung kung kailan lang yung uh, audit mo, saka ka ngayon magpo-produce ng mga dokumento para ipakita mo sa auditor or sa examiner. Hindi po pwede yun. No? Dapat existing na siya at the time of the transactions. Okay. So, ano po yung gagawin natin sa accounting cycle? sa ating pagre-record. No? So, we have journalization. So, asan na yung journal natin? Ito yung ating book of original entry. Mag-journalize tayo. Posting to the general ledger. No? Ito po yung ledger natin. At saan, saan tayo magpo-post? Dito po. No? So, ito yung mga ginamit ko pa doon sa mga videos ko na tutorial for uh, how to record on cash receipt, cash disbursement. So, balikan po natin siya ngayon. No? And then, uh, dapat yung books of accounts natin, naka-tatak po yan sa BL. Otherwise, ang tawag sa books natin, unregistered. No? May tatak po yan bago natin gamitin. And then, um, meron tayong uh, preparation of the trial balance. Bakit? Saan manggagaling yung ating mga uh, account na ilalagay na natin sa ating trial balance? Dito po sa ating ledger. Kasi yung ledger natin, ito yung debit, credit, dito makukuha natin yung balance ng mga accounts, no? Yung explanation ko sa inyo mamaya, pati mga chart of accounts, very specific. So, uh, malaking uh, tulong po ito sa mga nagsiservice uh, business kasi pati yung mga chart of accounts, isa-isahin natin yung ngayon, no? Preparation of financial statement. Preparation of worksheet, no? Kasi, Pagkatapos na mayroon ka ng trial balance, gagawa ka na ngayon ng worksheet and then yung preparation of financial statement coming from your worksheet. And then, uh, preparation of the closing entries. Magko-close ka na ngayon ng entries kasi ending na. Yung closing entries mo na yan, yun na naman ang magiging beginning balance mo for the uh, next taxable year. No? And then, the preparation of post closing trial balance and the reversing entry. Ano yun? I-reverse mo na yung entry kasi kinlos mo na, ni-reverse mo para yun ang magiging beginning balance mo for the next taxable year. No? So, accounting cycle, the initial st steps of accounting cycle during the recording phase of a business transaction is called journalization. So, i-journalize mo siya. Why? It's very important because that's the book of original entry. That's why during audit po, ang ginagamit ng examiner o kaya pag may account na hindi niya maintindihan, binabalikan yung journal entry para maintindihan mo anong klaseng account ba yan. No? Okay. Documentation. Ito yung process of gathering documents pertinent to the formal recording of the business transactions. Bakit po? Kasi itong mga pinagsasabi natin na mga libro, mga journal, mga ledger, 
wala kung kuwenta ito kung wala tayong documentation. Ibig sabihin, meron man tayong nilagay na entry dito, pero wala naman yung document to support it, kagaya ng resibo, uh, this book is just a mere scrap of paper. Wala po siyang evidentiary value. Wala pong kwenta. No? So, dapat meron tayong dokumento. The necessity of having documents and recording the data is a must to, to achieve objectivity. Bakit hindi kasi objective ang uh, libro na wala pong dokumento to support it? No? So, ano yung mga documentation na natin? Business papers. These are documents involving transactions of the business which are used for recording some of typical business papers. No? Ito yon official receipt. No? So, meron tayo, may official receipt. Our official receipts, our sales invoice are um, also uh, merong mga guidelines. No? Hindi tayo basta-basta nagpapagawa dyan. No? Dapat pag nagpagawa ka, may authority yan sa BAR and then may mga prescribed na format at saka pa paano mo siya gamitin. No? And then we have the bank documents and checks. Sometimes during the audit, hahanapan kayo ng uh, documentation ninyo on the bank uh, remittances or deposits ng inyong sales. No? And then the issuance of check to prove yung mga purchases natin. And then, uh, what are the other necessary documents? Contra. Contracts are very important. That's why, pag gumagawa po tayo ng kontrata, be very careful as to every provision of the contract. No? Kaya sinasabi ko sa mga lawyers natin, pag nag-prepare po sila ng kontrata, be very specific on the provisions of tax. Such that, wala siyang uh, misunderstanding uh, as to how to interpret the provision kung kanino o sino yung liable sa tax. No? Dapat naka-specify yan sa kontrata at saka pati yung uh, withholding taxes. No? So, the best uh, example of a contract is the memorandum of agreement or sa atin sa service uh, business is the service level agreement. No? Those are example of contract. We also have delivery invoice and inventory log form no? sa mga Uh, um, general merchandising businesses natin sa mga manufacturing, very important po sa atin yung delivery invoice at saka itong uh, lang form kasi minomonitor natin yung ating inventory. But uh, this uh, delivery invoice, inventory lang form, hindi man sila primary na documents, they're secondary documents and requires also uh, authority to print once nagpapa-imprinta kayo ng delivery receipts or invoices. Order form. No? Uh, accomplished by the buyer of goods to be given to the supplier for confirmation and affirmation of the order. Authority to pay form. No? Sa ibang mga uh, businesses, ginagawa nila yan. So, iba't ibang klaseng dokumento. Depende na lang po yan sa nature of business ninyo. At saka kung paano nyo dinidesign na yung dokumento na yan nakakatulong sa inyo in the recording and uh, evaluation purposes po ng business. Uh, the chart of accounts. Ano po itong mga chart of accounts? No? So, the chart of accounts is a device used to record the increase and decrease affecting assets, liabilities, and owner's equity, income, and expense account. Itong chart of accounts, ito po yung mga uh, title ng mga gast ginastos natin o kaya ng mga income natin na yun ang uh, i-record natin dito sa ating books of accounts. No, bibigyan natin kayo ng example kung ano itong mga chart of accounts. No? So, these are the example of the chart of accounts for service concern business. Ibig sabihin, hindi po sila general merchandise, ang binibenta po nila servisyo. No? So, these are the example. Uh, account number, halimbawa nila, account number is 100. No? The account title is cash on hand. No? So, ito yung chart of accounts natin, cash on hand. Ano ibig sabihin? May explanation po yung account. No, ibig sabihin ng cash on hand? To record cash collected from sale or collection of receivables and other sources of cash presently in the hands of the business under the custodianship of the cashier. Kasi sino ba yung may hawak ng cash on hand? Siyempre yung cashier o yung authorized person. No? Uh, account number 101. No? So itong account number, Depende na yan kung paano nyo siya uh, dinidesign. No? So, the other 
account is cash in bank. To record the amount of money deposited under the savings and current account which is used without restriction to the business. So, ito naman yung cash in bank. No? So, nandudun siya nakadeposit sa banko. Uh, account number 102, Petty Cash Fund. So, tingnan ninyo yung pinakauna talaga sa uh, chart of accounts natin itong mga cash. No? Because these are liquid assets at saka ito talaga yung nagpapaikot sa business. No, anong explanation ng PT Cash Fund? The business normally use uses PT Cash account to take care of the small expenses. No, issuing a check to is impractical for small expenses. Salimbawa 100 lang, 200, 300, possibly naman o kaya napaka um, hindi na din siya viable o hindi practical na issue mo pa na resibo, no? So, kaya mayroon tayong tinatawag na PT Cash Fund. Account number 103, Notes Receivable. Ito yung mga pautang natin. These are claims of the owner from its customers or other stakeholders evidenced by promissory notes under the control of the business. So, ito yung mga pautang natin na uh, mayroon tayong pinanghawakan ng dokumento, Notes Receivable. Account number 104, accounts receivable. These are claims from customers not evidenced by kanina not receivable, ngayon accounts receivable. Not evidenced by a promissory note, usually from sale on account or making advance payments to clients. No? So account number 105, prepaid rent. The account prepaid rent is used to record advance payment and security deposit paid in advance to occupy the rented premises. So, itong prepaid rent, advance to, advance na uh, payment natin para sa renta. No? Prepaid insurance, ito naman yung uh, uh, amount na binayad natin for the insurance premium. No? Paid in advance. Bakit siya tinatawag na prepaid kasi in advance? No? Hindi siya pwedeng i-claim mo as an expense kasi hindi pa nangyari, binayaran mo pa siya ng advance. Uh, account number 107, office supplies. This account used to record the purchase of office supplies such as worksheet, computer, ink, paper, and others. So, uh, yung account ng office supplies, nandun yung mga uh, gamit natin, no? Na ginagamit sa office. Account number 108, other assets, property which are not grouped under the standard accounts because the account deems it impractical impractical to do so. So, ang tawag dyan, other assets. And then, account number 201, accounts payable. So, ano na to? Ito mga accounts na to? Sa liabilities na. No? So, an account used to record the liability from acquiring materials, goods, and supplies from the creditor on account. So, ito yung mga inutang naman natin. Uh, account number 202, notes uh, payable. Account used to record issue once of promissory note with a, with a term less than a year. Kanina, yung notes receivable, tayo nagpa-utang. Ngayon sa notes payable, tayo ang may utang. Account number 203, loan payables. No? Account used to record the liability from receiving a loan from a bank and other financial institutions. So, ito yung mga financial institutions natin na um, meron tayong payable sa kanila. Account number uh, 204, we have uh, mortgage payable, an account used to record a liability from obta obtaining large amounts of loan using some collateral properties. Pag sinabi mong mortgage, meron ka ng uh, property na kinolateral mo to answer for the as a security of your lo loans. Account number 205, salary pay payable, an account used to record unpaid salary. No? Account number 206, interest payable, an account used to record account accrued interest from loan and mortgage payable. Account number 207, long-term notes payable, an account used to record issuance of promissory notes within a term more than a year. Kaya nga, long-term siya, because it will not mature, it will not become due and demandable within the 
12 month period na napasok po sa ating taxable year. 301 uh, service income an account used to record revenue received from client from rendering of services. So yun po yung service income po ang uh, account title pag mayroon na kayong income from your service business. Account number 302, gain on sale on account used to, to record the gain on sale of old assets. Kaya nga, uh, nagbenta ka ng assets, so i-realize mo yun kung may gain ba or may sale ba. No? May gain on sale. Tumubo ka ba o uh, lugi ka? No? Uh, account number 302, interest income, account used to record the interest earned from penalty imposed on delayed customers and from receipt of payment of interest bearing promissory notes. So, pag sinabi mo interest income, ikaw yung tumanggap ng interest. No? Hindi ikaw yung nagbabayad, pero uh, tumanggap ka ng interest income, ikaw yung nagpapautang. Account number 304, miscellaneous income, an account used to record revenue from selling other assets like retaso, old newspaper, and the like. So, miscellaneous income yun. Mga malilit na income, hindi naman siya talaga yung main line o business mo. Uh, nagkaroon ka lang ng miscellaneous na malilit na income. No? Uh, line number 401, salary expense to record payment of salary in... Uh, Sa office po, sa office employee, factory worker, and ordinary worker. So, yan po yung salary expense. Account number 402, rent expense, to record payment of rent on lease, premises, whether stores or space or warehouse. So, um, rent expense po ang tawag natin dyan. Sa pagrerenta natin for the use of the uh, building, for the use of the land, and nandoon po yung ating business. Account number 403, light and power expense, an account used to record electricity cost for the month. Uh, account number 404, we have water expense, an account used to pay water consumption for the month. Account number 405, telephone and communication expenses, an account used to record cost of communications for the month. So, account number 406, advertising expense. No? These are the account used to record the cost of advertisement. Pamphlets, tarpaulin, radio time, and air time. So, these are the uh, means na gagamitin ninyo when you advertise. No? So, account number 407, office supplies expense. An account to record the supplies supplies used in the office such as computer, ink and paper, pencil, pen and others. Account number 408, we have insurance expense. This is an account to record the cost of insurance premium paid to insurance company for the safety and insurance. No? 409, repair and maintenance expense. No? The account used to record the cost of maintaining equipment and vehicle of the company. Account number 410, taxes and licenses and expense. No? So, pag kayo po ay nag-record, huwag na huwag ninyong kalimutan ang taxes and licenses. Ano po ang implication sa uh, business natin kung wala tayong expense na taxes and licenses? Our uh, business is illegal kasi hindi tayo nagbabayad ng tax. No? So, yun ang mangyayari. Kaya, wag na wag din natin kalimutan ang uh, account na taxes and licenses. Account number 411, membership fees expense. An account used to record membership fees paid to accredited institutions. So, take note po, accredited institution. No? So, if the institution is not accredited, then do not claim membership fees expenses. Account number 410, uh, contribution and donation expense. An account used to record contribution and donation made by the company such as religious and charitable donations. Account number 413, gas and oil expense. 
an account used to record gasoline and oil expense used by the company. Account number 414, transportation expense, account used to record freight on, or transportation fares incurred in rendering of services and other fare expenses. Okay. So, more or less, na-discuss po natin sa inyo yung mga accounts. So, depende na lang yan sa actual ninyo. Magdagdag na lang kayo ng accounts na dapat ninyong idagdag. No? <clears throat> Kasi kung marami kayong mga accounts, pwede pa po yung dagdagan. No? But ang pinapakita na natin sa inyo, those are the common na uh, chart of accounts na ginagamit ng service business. Okay. Uh, tapos na tayo dun sa... Uh, chart of accounts. Ano naman po itong tinatawag na T account? No? So, the simplest form of a ledger is called the T account. Bakit po siya tinatawag na T account? Letter T. Bakit siya letter T? So, bakit siya letter T? Kasi nandito yung account. No? Dito yung account. And then, meron siyang debit dito. Meron siyang credit. Kasi kaya letter T siya. Meron siyang uh, partition sa gitna. At sa taas, nandiyan yung account. And then, dito sa kabila yung debit. Nandiyan yung credit. You know? So, T ang tawag sa kanya. Okay. So, the simplest form is called the T account. It has two sides to record the increase and decrease of the account. So, ano sabi ng two sides? Dito yun. No? The two sides. Dito yung account name. Tapos, dito yung debit. Dito yung credit. So, two sides. Yeah. The left side is for recording of increase in assets. So, asan yung left side dito? Ito. Ito yung right side. No? Uh, asset and expense accounts while the right is used to record the increase of liability income and capital. So, dito yung assets and then the expense and then dito naman yung liability at uh, income and capital. Example ng ledger natin or the accounts. So, for the cash, yung left side niya or debit side at saka right side or uh, credit side. No? So, ano po yung principle natin na sinusundan dito? The assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So, the table below will explain the rules of debit and credit. Ano ba yung rules natin na debit and credit? Pag assets, uh, left side, debit, increase sa left side no to so, so pag sinabi natin na uh, nagdebit ka dito sa left side okay so debit increase so nag nag-increase yung assets mo pag dito naman sa right side magde-decrease yung assets mo pag nilagay mo dito sa liabilities naman yung left side yung left side niya dito the debit uh, decrease nag decrease naman ang assets bakit? sa right side naman siya nag increase yung kanyang um, credit no? so ganun po ang assets and liabilities baligtad po sila no? rules of debit and credit to summarize the following rules for debit and credit should be observed in processing, recording, posting, business transactions. So, anong pong sundan natin? An increase in asset is to, re to be recorded on the debit side, while a decrease will be recorded on the credit side. So, andito na tayo. So, ito yung ating halimbawang assets. No? So, anong, anong sabi dyan? Uh, on the debit side, Recording na, recorded na yung increase in assets while a decrease will be recorded on the credit side. So, dito. An increase in liability to be recorded on the credit side, credit side dito, while the decrease will be recorded on the debit side of the account. So, increase in owner's equity or the capital, ito yun, is to be recorded on the credit side while a decrease will be recorded on the debit side. So, increase na owner's equity dito, pag meron niyang decrease dito. Sabi po dito, take note, every transaction must have a debit amount with a corresponding credit. No? 
So no matter how many accounts are affected, affected the process is called the double entry bookkeeping. Bakit double entry bookkeeping? Kasi yung isang transactions meron kang debit at meron kang credit. At sa paggawa ng debit and credit, at the end of the reporting period, da dapat ang um, debit credit mo must be equal. Kasi pag hindi yan sila equal, hindi ka balance, eh, may mali doon sa recording mo or sa posting mo. Uh, the ledger, the account form is widely used in schools and universities to demonstrate the analysis of ledger with business. No? Actual business practice, a formal book of accounts is used containing not only the account title, date, and the amount, but also the page reference, no? the account number, and the balance of the account. Ito po yung sample natin ng uh, ledger, no? Okay, so anong nangyari po dito sa ating accounts payable? Meron siyang debit na uh, 5,000 and then the supplies is 5,000. So, in this case, pag ganito yung the account mo, uh, wala siya ending balance. Wala siya. Zero. No? Pag nireport mo siya sa financial report mo, kung zero na siya, hindi na siya kasama doon sa gagawan mo ng uh, trial balance. No? Okay. So, the ledger account forecast, F stands for reference that identifies the sources of the entries such as journal page. No? So, may, may column ka na pwedeng ilagay na lagyan mo ng reference as to the pages. No? Okay, so ito po yung sample. Date, particulars, debit, date, particulars, and then credit. Dito, sa pagre-record natin dito sa uh, ledger, account for cash. So, very particular tayo na meron tayong debit uh, credit. No? At tama uh, yung ating mga accounts, ang ating mga entries. No? Okay, since journalization is the first step in the accounting cycle. No? So, journal refers to the to column, general journal used to formally record the business transactions by way of journal entry. No? So, ito yung uh, journal. A general journal is illustrated as follows. Ito yung general journal natin. No? So, ito din yung ginamit ko nung uh, my first uh, video on books of accounts. No? General journal is uh, two column journal format. So, two column. Ito lang siya. So, nakalagay dyan yung date dito. And then, the particulars. Ibig sabihin ng particulars, yung explanation mo, the account. And then, the uh, debit and the credit. Okay. So, what are the rules uh, that should be observed? No? Each transaction has a date composed of month and year, which is written only once in its page. No? So, kung... Uh, umbisan mo na yan sa taas then the date it, it follows na uh, yung mga nasa baba niya the same date no? after writing the date write the debit and credit accounts in the particular columns okay assuming Mr. Perez invested 3,000 in the business no? so uh, mamaya example natin yan sa ating uh, journal entries Number three, the debit column and credit column contain the amount of the transaction and they are expected to be balanced. No? Kasi kung hindi siya balance, then mali yung ating ginawa. Okay, so 2018 January 1, particular, cash, 300,000, and then credit, Paris Capital, 300,000. Yan po yung transaction natin ng January 1, 2018. Okay. Another, no? So, so papaano ang entry natin? Debit cash, 300,000. Credit Paris Capital of 300,000. And uh, our explanation would be to record the initial investment. If there is another transaction to be recorded, leave one space to record the subsequent uh, transaction. No? So, dito po sa paggamit nitong journal, kagaya nito, 
be sure na uh, wag niyong ubusin lahat hanggang sa baba. Bakit? Kasi pagka meron kang subsequent na transaction na uh, involving this account, hindi ka na maka-insert. No? So, leave one space. Leave one space ka talaga sa, sa akin kung kunti lang yung transaction nyo kahit dalawa or tatlo na space ang ililive mo. So, ito na po yung, yung mga examples natin. Uh, January 1, 2018. Cash on hand, uh, 300,000. Paris Capital, 300,000 to record the initial investment. No? Uh, cash in bank, 150,000. Cash on hand, 150,000 uh, to record cash Uh, to record the deposit in the bank. So, uh, yung capital niya is uh, 300,000, 150, o yung kalahati lang noon ang dideposito niya sa bangko. The money column consists of eight spaces. We're, we're starting from the right, 10,000, 100,000, and 10,000 are placed. No? So, may column-column po yan. Saan yung column natin? column natin para sa amount or sa pera. No? So, ito. Ito yung mga column na to. Dito natin ilalagay yung amount. So, uh, yung, yung first dito, na uh, blanco, yan, centavo. No? Tapos, ang sunod dyan, dito sa column na to, yung 10, sunod is yung 100, sunod yung uh, 1,000. So, dip depende sa Uh, amount na ma uh, ano nyo kagaya nito 1,500,000 kung so, paano siya sinulat no yung first uh, three digits nandiyan yung tatlong zero and then yung sunod 500 and then yung uh, one no for the column ng million okay so current correct place for peso amount yung tinuro ko na una centavo column and then one peso 10 peso, 100 pesos, 1,000 pesos column, 10,000 pesos, 100,000 pesos, and then the 1 uh, million pesos uh, column. So, journal entry with one debit and with one credit is called a simple journal entry. So, this is the debit and the credit. So, where an entry has more than one debit or more than one credit, it is called a compound journal entry. No? So, kung mahigit isa lang yung entry, compound journal entry na yung tawag doon. No? Mahigit na sa isa. Example, illustration. Albert Financing Services had the following transactions on the first month of operation in October 2018. No? So, ito yung mga transactions ni Albert during the uh, period. October 1, Albert invested 250,000 and deposited the amount of uh, the business. No? Ano pang ginawa niya? Bought 10 computer units under the terms 100,000 down payment and the balance of 100,000 is to be paid in four equal monthly installments starting October 31, 2008. Another transaction, he paid 8,500 mayor's permit, 500 BIR registration fees, and DTI registration of business name. No? Uh, paid 45,000 to the shop list covering advance payment for two months and one month security deposits. Another Paid $60,000 for the construction of computer liabilities and chairs by the, for the computer shop. Okay. Spent $5,000 for the purchase of electric wires and other electrical wirings for the computer shop. Number six, sent $8,000 for the neon's light bearing the name of the shop. No? So, office expenses. Hired two shops assistants. Ito yung ang mga activities niya. Hired two shops assistants with a salary of 5,000 per month each. Not a business transaction. Oh? 
spend 3 million for, for advertisements, suppliers, and tarpaulin. Also, advertising expense pa rin yan. After a week of preparation, Albert formally opened the business and spent 7 million for food and other things for the inventory. Shop uh, expenses. Number 10. On the first day of the operation, he received 8,000 from his customers' interest income. Number 15, paid salary of the assistant, 2,500 for one week. Paid 2,000 for office supplies. For the last week, he received 120,000 from customers as interest on loan. Number 30, paid salary of the shop workers, 4,750, net of SS premium of 250, and uh, 31, paid the first monthly installment of the uh, computer, 25,000. What are the requirements? Prepare the required journal entries in a two-column journal. And also, post the journal entries to the general ledger and prepare the trial balance. Ito na po yung, yung pinaka-execution na natin ha, dun sa uh, recording. Bakit? Ano po sabi dito? Uh, prepare the required journal entries in two columns. So, ito na yung sample natin. Ito na yung journal entries natin. Two columns ito. So, ito yung mga explanation. No? So, dito, ganun din. Ito yung ating uh, journal entries. And then, ito yung two columns niya na debit and credit nung accounts. No? So, post the uh, journal entries to the journal ledger. So, kung ano man yung mga pinahit natin dito, dadalhin natin yan ngayon dito sa uh, ledger, no? Ito na yung kanyang uh, posting natin na debit and credit and then at the end of the month kukunin natin yung uh, ending balance niya. So, ang gagawin natin pag uh, asset account debit minus uh, credit equals the ending account niya or the balance. Pagka naman ang uh, account natin is liability paano naman natin i-compute yun? The uh, credit balance minus debit balance equals the ending balance ng account, no? So, yun na yung dadalhin natin nasa ating trial balance, yung account na yun. So, ito na po yung answer. Ha? Papaano mag-prepare ng uh, required na journal entries and then paano natin naman i-post ngayon dun sa ledger, magagawa tayo ng T-account, debit credit, and then paano tayo mag-prepare ng trial balance, no? So, Stay tuned and uh, marami po tayong matutunan dito, especially sa service business. No? Ito. Answer, requirement number one, journal entries. No? So, ito pong na nakikita ninyo sa screen natin, equivalent po siya yan dito sa entry natin dito sa libro. So, yung nakikita ninyo sa screen, yan po yung laman ng libro na uh, traditional na manual na ginagamit natin. Okay? Uh, date, October 1, uh, cash in bank, uh, Albert Capital, uh, debit 250,000, credit 250,000. Ano po yung letter F? Yun po yung folio o yung reference number natin. No? So, uh, ano ibig sabihin ng 101? Yan yung uh, account number natin kanina sa cash in bank. Ano naman yung 501? Yun po yung account number natin na sinasabi natin doon sa chart of accounts natin kanina na pertains to capital. No? So, we debit cash in bank, account number 101, 250,000, and then we credit capital, account 501, also in the amount of 250,000. 250,000 po yan. Ha? And then, we have the uh, shop computer, uh, account number 104, 200,000 and we credit cash in bank uh, account number 101 100,000 and then also we credit accounts payable account number 201 as uh, 100,000 also kasi anong explanation doon the terms is 50% down payment and the balance in four equal installments so 
Dagdown tayo na 100,000 doon sa computer. And then yung balance na 100,000 for equal installment. So 100,000 divided by uh, 4 equals 25,000 bawat installment. No? And then we have taxes and licenses na expense natin. Account number 304. Debit, 9,140. And we credit cash in bank, 9,140. Yung cash in bank natin is account number 101. No? So, uh, next. We rent, uh, we deposit for rent. Account number 103, 45,000. And we credit cash in bank, account number 101, 45,000. To record the two-month deposit and one-month advance. No? Ibig sabihin niyan, 45,000 yan, 15,000 per month. No? So, next, shop furniture, account number 105, debit, 60,000, credit cash in bank, uh, 60,000. To record construction of computer table and chairs. No? So, uh, yun ang ginamit natin at ang binayad is cash. And then we have office expenses. Account number 301, 5,000. Uh, credit cash in bank. Account number 101, 5,000. To record purchase of electric wirings. No? Kasi ginamit sa computer. Number uh, next is the office expenses natin. 301, account number uh, 8,000 credit cash in bank account number 101 8,000 to record the cost of neon light no? so yun yung mga gastos uh, and then next uh, we have advertisement expense account number 302 3,000 credit cash in bank account number 101 3,000 to record the cost of flyers and tarpaulin and then we have office expenses, account number 301, 7,000, debit or credit cash in bank, account number 101, 7,000, to record the cost of food and expenses on the opening day. And then we have the cash in bank na debit. Ibig sabihin ng debit, dinagdagan mo yung cash. So at last, yung mga unating entries, puro paluwal, ngayon dito sa uh, entry na to, nag-debit na tayo sa cash, ibig sabihin may income na yung uh, service natin. No? So, cash in bank, 101, debit, 8,000, and then, credit, the interest income that we earn, uh, account number, uh, 401, yung interest income, we credit 8,000. No? So, to record the income received from clients. No? So, kasi, kumita na. We have uh, salary expense, debit, three, account number 303, amount 2,500. Credit cash in bank, account number 101, amount 2,500 to record payment of salary. And then we have office supplies, account number 102, debit 2,000. Credit cash in bank, account number 101. Amount is 2,000 to record payment of supplies. And then we have cash in bank. Uh, account number 101, 120,000. Credit interest income for 01, 120,000. Kumita na naman siya, kaya ang cash na debit. No? Kasi pagka gastos, credit yung cash, bawas sa cash. Pero dito, since debit sa cash, dagdag sa cash. No? To record cash receipts for loan granted. And then we have uh, salary expense, account number 303, 5,000. Credit cash in bank, uh, account number 101, 4,750. So we have SSS premium payable, account number 202. Uh, credit also 250. No? Kasi doon sa salary expense niya na 5,000. Binawas doon yung 250 na is, is, is premium payable. Kaya yung cash in bank, 4,750 lang. No? So, explanation to record payment of salary for the period October 16 to 30. And then we have accounts payable. Account number 201, 25,000. Credit cash in bank, account number 101, 
25,000 to record first installment of computer. So, nakabayad na siya ng utang. Kasi kumikita na. Okay? So, yun po yung uh, journal entries dun sa sinabi sa problem natin. Kaya, balikan nyo lang yung sa example natin kung ano-ano yung mga transactions and then sundan ninyo yung anong uh, papaano siya ni record dito sa ating journal entries nandyan isa-isa sunod-sunod din yan sequence according to date yan sa actual po natin na uh, pag uh, record sa mga expenses natin according to dates po talaga ang sequence no now we go to the posting to the ledger ano yung posting to the ledger natin ito po no uh, nagpo magpo-post natin sa natin sa uh, general ledger natin yung sinasabi natin na T accounts yung debit credit na uh, T accounts para malaman natin yung ending balance no? yung dagdag bawat sa bawat accounts okay so uh, example na ang, ang posting so normally each account has its respective ledger written on every page of the books of accounts so dito bawat account meron na yan dito no pagka gumagawa na kay dito diyan na yung cash Nandun na yung sa chart of accounts natin. Meron na yun sila mga pages dito. Assuming the first entry in the journal debiting cash of 250,000 and crediting Albert Capital of the same amount will be posted to the ledger. So, paano yan? Ayan na yan, no? So, dito, maglagay ka ng date. So, yung nakikita ninyo sa, sa ating slides, ito din yun sa libro, no? So, sinabi natin dito na yung date, dapat dito, ito talaga yung column ng date. No? And then, sa, sa particulars, ito yung column para sa kung anong account ilagay natin. And then, dito sa F, yung account number. And then, ito yung debit natin, ito yung credit. No? So, debit, credit. Okay. October 1, nag-credit tayo, nag Post tayo ng cash in bank na 101, 250,000 and then Albert Capital, 250,000 to record initial investment. So, yun yung journal entries natin. No? Pagdating naman sa uh, ledger. So, journal ledger natin, name of account is cash in bank. So, the account number is 101. Okay? So, ano-ano yung dinabit natin sa uh, journal entries natin? the uh, cash and then credit capital. And then we have the uh, cash investment na uh, 250,000 debit. And then uh, sa 501 nandoon naman yung uh, credit natin na 250,000 yun yung uh, Albert Capital. Okay. So the uh, account number 501 will be placed in the journal to inform the auditor of the bookkeeper that the amount is already posted in the ledger. So to process from the business transaction to the account, another example na naman po ito, no? So Fabulous Face Center presented the following transactions below and record directly to the T account in 2018. So ito yung mga transactions. The owner invested 2 million to open a beauty uh, face clinic no, and deposit the money in the bank. And then number two, purchase furniture and fixtures and 30,000 on cash basis. So, sa pag-analyze po dito, balikan nyo palagi yung journal entries. Kasi yung journal entries, yun ang pinaka book of original entry. Nandun lahat yung explanations. Number eight na... Uh, the uh, next na transaction is the purchase of medical equipment from the NNN medical equipment. Next uh, is paid 200,000 rental deposit on clinic uh, list. And then purchase medical supplies from Abbott Drugs, 40,000 on account. Paid corresponding taxes and registration fees, 30,000. Okay? Received 300,000 medical fees from patients. Dito kumita na siya. Paid salary of medical staff, 30,000. Paid 50% of account of purchase medical supplies on January 10. No? Kasi nangutang siya. And then returned 5,000 worth of supplies to Abbott Drugs. Then applied 50,000 rental deposit to monthly rental. Required prepared T accounts using the following accounts. Cash in bank, 
furniture and fixture. Ito po yung chart of account niya. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga account na uh, ginamit. No? Cash in bank, furniture and fixtures, medical equipment, rental deposits, medical uh, supplies, accounts payable, taxes and licenses expense, salary expense, medical supplies expense, rent expense, uh, capital, medical fees, or revenue. So, yun ang mga account. Okay. So, paano po yan din nalagay sa T-account? So, kita na natin dito sa ledger natin. Diba? Ito yung T-account. Yun. <clears throat> so, January 1, 2 million. Yun yung capital. January 2, mayroon tayong kinredit sa cash natin na 30,000. And then, yun, noong January 30 naman, mayroon tayong 300,000 na uh, receive from customer. And then, doon sa cash in bank natin, uh, meron tayong uh, credit na 1 million, 200,000, 30,000, 30,000, 20,000. Yung nakalagay po dyan, date dyan ng January. No? So, at the end of the month, yung total natin na debit sa cash is 2 million, 300,000. Yung total na credit sa cash in bank natin no, is 1 million, 300,000. So, ano yung balance? Debit balance, no? Sa cash in bank natin na 990,000. So, ibig sabihin, since ang uh, cash in bank natin is asset, so, ito yung debit na balance, meron pa tayong assets na cash in bank na 990,000 na hindi pa natin nagamit, hindi pa natin na-apply, no? Kasi ang nabawas sa cash natin na 2,300,000 is 1,300,000. So, meron meron pa tayong balance, eh. ibig sabihin, available pa yan na balance sa bank, 990,000. Okay? And then next, we have the uh, furniture and, and fixtures. Ito yun, uh, debit 30,000, medical equipment, debit 1 million, anong mga to? Mga expenses. Kaya debit po sila, no? And then we have the accounts payable. Ano nangyari dito sa accounts payable natin? Noong January 20, nag-debit tayo ng 20,000. Noong January 10, nag-credit tayo ng 40,000. Noong 21, nag-debit naman ng 5,000. And then, noong 10, may uh, credit din tayo ng 40,000. So, anong nangyari? Magkano yung total ng debit? 25,000. Magkano yung uh, total ng credit? 15,000. No? So, 30 lang yung ano, 25 lang pala yung na uh, debit natin. So, ang total na credit natin is 40, kaya ang balance natin 15. Anong, mang, anong ginawa dyan? Yung credit balance na 40,000, binawas natin yung 25,000, kaya mayroon tayong balance na 15,000. Okay? So, medical fees or revenue, mayroon siyang credit na 30,000. And then, yung capital, mayroon siyang debit na 2 million. Yung medical supplies, Meron siya debit na 40, meron siyang credit na 5, kaya ang balance niya is 35,000. And then sa rental deposit naman, meron siyang debit na 200,000 and then may credit na 50,000. So, may balance pa na 150,000. Taxes and licenses, debit 30,000. Okay. So, rent expense, uh, debit 50,000. Salary expense, debit 32,000. Okay, so from the above the accounts presentation, compute the following balances. So, balance of cash in bank, makano po yun? Kunin lang natin doon sa balance natin sa cash in bank. Makano yung balance? 990,000. No? So, sundan lang po natin yung ating mga uh, account na nandito. Kunin na lang natin kung makano yung mga balance dyan, no? And then we have another example. Ito naman, General Ledger of Jericho uh, Service Company. No? So, ito na yung laman ng, ng ledger niya. Hindi na pinapakita sa atin yung journal entries. Kasi marami tayong example sa journal entries. So, sa account na lang niya sa ledger. Okay. So, ito yung mga laman ng ledger niya. No? Uh, meron siyang debit na cash. Meron uh, investment and then meron siyang uh, purchase na cost of computer, 30000 And then meron siyang service uh, rendered, 18000 And then payment uh, of mayor's permit, 7 
140. Anong account po ito? The account is cash in bank. So, ito yung mga uh, dagdag bawas sa cash niya during the month. No? So, ito yung, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga debit and credit sa cash in bank. No? And then, merong services rendered 120,000, rental deposit 21,000. So, total for the month is 338,000 ang debit. No? And then, uh, we have computer table, chairs, office supplies. No? So, yun yung balance. The cash in bank debit balance is 97,360. No? And then, uh, sa car and vehicle naman, meron tayong uh, 300,000 debit no? sa investment. Kasi investment yung Uh, car and vehicle. So, nag-debit tayo ng 300,000. Bumili. And then, we have the uh, Jericho Capital. No? So, investment, 500,000 credit. And then, we have office equipment. No? Uh, purchase of computer and printer. Debit naman siya, 30,000. And then we have taxes and licenses, no? Debit siya, 7,140. We have deposit on security guards, no? Debit, 21,000. And we have purchase of offer office furniture, 50,000. We have the account office supplies, no? Uh, we purchase debit, 4,000. And then uh, 2,000, so total 6,000. We have advertising expense, no? A total debit 48,000. We have motorcycle, debit also 170,000. No? San gagamitin yung motorcycle? Kasi uh, service business nangungulekta. So gagamitin yung motorcycle. We have accounts payable. We have the credit balance of 120,000. And then we have service income. Magkano na yung kinita na service income? Uh, credit yan no, sa services rendered 18,000 no? and then the uh, service rendered 120,000 so total 138,000 paano po yan nire-record dito sa ledger? ito po yung pag-record yan service income ilagay mo dito and then yung December 31 na uh, uh, debit dapat dito since credit yan dito mo siya ilagay December 11 18,000 And then, December 20, 120,000. So, kung lagyan mo siya ng total, total niya is 138,000. Name of the account, salary expense. So, the same lang po yan. Debit. Gas and oil. Debit also. 3,000. We have SSS. Premium payable. Credit 300,000. Field health premium payable, two hundred thousand. Withholding tax payable, one thousand two hundred. Okay, so more or less, alam na natin na yun yung mga account, no, sa journal entries na involved natin sa pagrecord natin ng mga dokumento natin, no. Punta na tayo ngayon sa preparation of trial balance, kasi di ba sabi natin pag meron ka ng ledger. At uh, yung journal mo, yung may book of original entry ka na. Pagdating sa, uh, sa ledger, nandun na yung debit credit mo. So, may ending balance ka na. From there, pwede ka na mag-prepare ng trial balance. Okay? Summary. Kunin mo na lang yung summary nun. Kun kunin mo yung mga account na ilagay mo dito. Yung mga title, lahat ilagay mo dito. And then, ku kunin mo yung amount. No? And then we have the following. The debit column in is called the pencil footing. Kung meron ka pero kung tinotal mo na, then kunin mo na lang pick up mo na lang yung mga account. No? Ito yung paggawa natin ng trial balance. Name of the business, the trial balance or the title of the report, and then the date. Nimbawa month ending December 31 or year ending December 31. Kung yearly yung ginawa mo. No, the account titles. Okay. So, ito na yung sample. No, for uh, Jericho, trial balance October 
debit total credit. So, ano yung mga debit mo? Ito yung mga, mga kinuha mo na uh, balance dito. So, pag sinabi mong balance, since asset siya, ang balancing niya na dito sa debit. So, dito mo sa kukunin. So, debit mo rin siya ilagay dyan sa file balance mo. So, cash, 97,000. Car, vehicle, office equipment, debit lahat yan. No? Uh, and then, meron kang credit. Ano yung naman ang kinredit mo? The service income of 138,000. The accounts payable of 120,000. Jericho Capital, 500,000. Ano naman itong dinebit mo na isa? Salary expense. No? And then, uh, gas and oil, debit siya, 3,000 kasi expense. And then, nag-credit ka na ulit na withholding tax payable kasi payable siya. So, ang credit balance siya. 1,200, the SSS, premium payable, 300, PhilHealth, payable, 200. Okay? So, when you total them, the total of the debit and the total of the credit is equal. 759,700. Why equal? Kasi sa double entry of accounting, every time you debit an account, you also credit the other corresponding account. Kaya, ang mangyayari, balance eh. Kasi, ang debit, balance ang sa credit kasi pag may entry ka, the same amount sa debit, nag-entry ka rin doon sa credit. Kaya walang uh, dahilan na hindi sila magbabalance. Pag hindi yan magbalance, then mali ka. Kasi ang debit mo is not equal to credit. Mali ka, may kulang ka. No? Also, remember that the total debit is equal to the total credit. No? So, a balance trial does not necessarily indicate the transaction are, are well recorded. Kasi pwede may naligaw dyan na mga uh, misclassified na mga account. No? Okay, some errors cannot be detected from the trial balance even if the debit total is equal to credit total. Ano yung dahilan? Failure to record a transaction. Kasi kung hindi mo yan na-record, hindi affected ang uh, trial balance. Kasi ibabalansin niya yung na-record mo lang doon. A transaction is journalized but not, but not posted. So, hindi mo rin makita kasi na-journalized mo lang siya. Hindi mo naman na-post sa ledger. Okay. Another reason is the erroneous amount is debited and credited for an, an entry. No? So, rental payment is debited to rent expense and credited to cash. No? Mali yung mga entries mo. A recorded transaction is posted twice. So, magiging mali din. Kasi dalawang beses mong pinost yung isang transaction lang. Okay. Sometimes, the reason also is the amount is posted to the correct side but not to the wrong account. No? But to the wrong account. No? So, tama na, na, na i-post mo siya sa credit pero yung account na nagamit mo, mali. No? Wrong account title in recording the transaction. No? So, doon mo siya na, uh, instead na expense siya, doon mo siya na uh, credit sa sales. So, mali ka na. No? Uh, controlling account. Business will not survive without customers and suppliers of goods and materials. So, it is imperative for a business to have large number of customers. No? So, accounts receivables and accounts payable in the general ledger are called controlling accounts. Why controlling accounts? Kasi sila yung uh, nagdadala talaga ng business. Sila yung mga accounts na affected talaga sa business. No? Ginagamit. So, ito another example. Ito yung uh, Larry Parking Center. Ito service business. Uh, again. Yung ating mga example po ngayon, puro services. No? Puro services. Wala tayong sale of goods. Kaya, tingnan nyo yung mga accounts na ginamit. Puro po yan para sa services. So, ito example lang to sa paggawa ng uh, ledger account for special ledger account sa bawat customer. No? So, ito yung parking center. Ito yung mga accounts receivable niya. Yung pautang niya. No? So, ito yung Si Miss Ami, 2,000. Miss Baby, 500. Ito yung mga pangalan ng kanyang mga uh, customer. And then, ito yung kanilang uh, uh, receivables, no? Or, uh, ba dapat bayaran ng mga customers sa kanila. So, what is the account used to record the different individual accounts? What is the controlling account? What do you call the ledger supporting the controlling account? And what amounts is to be reported in the ledger trial balance? And finally, 
to the balance sheet. No, ang example natin dito is the subsidiary ledger account. So, anong ilalagay natin doon? Ito yung illustrations. So, the name of the student, no? Sa case naman ito ng school. Kasi yung kanina, parking. So, ang tanong doon, ano yung account to record the different individual accounts? No, yung subsidiary ledger, gawa natin bawat isa. No? At ano yung mga controlling account dito? Di ba yung accounts payable? And then, ano yung supporting the controlling account? No? The ledger. No? What amount is to be reported in the ledger? The trial balance and finally to the balance sheet. Yung total po nung mga receivables na yun. No? And then, the example natin ang sunod is the subsidiary ledger. Pa paano natin ipakita yung uh, laman ng subsidiary ledger natin na ginawa natin by uh, customer. So, in this case, by student. Kasi school po yung uh, may business. No? So, ito yung pangalan. No? Student uh, number. Then, the name of student. And then, nung June 5, meron siyang tu tuition and miscellaneous fees. First sem, debit 32,000. So, ang balance niya is 32,000. Nung June 5, nagbayad siya, may OR, down payment, 6,000. So, magkano na lang yung balance niya? 26,000. No? Okay. So, another example is the supplier ledger for supplier's account. Ito naman. Uh, name of supplier, no? educational supply. Purchase invoice number 56, credit 14,000. So, the balance is 14,000. Partial payment. Uh, debit, 7,000. So, magkano yung balance? 7,000. Kasi binawasan mo ng 7,000 na partial payment niya. No? Uh, subsidiary ledger of customer or supplier. So, ano naman yung information na makikita natin doon? Contains the information of the accounts of the customer or suppliers for our ready reference. And from where the monthly summary report can be prepared. Ano yung mga summary monthly report natin dito? Ito yung ilalagay natin sa accounts receivable kasi dito sa subsidiary ledger uh, for the supplier, tayo yung nangungutang dito. So, meron ta, pag sinabi mo, meron kang balance na 7,000 payable mo to at the end of the month. No? Pero dito naman sa subsidiary ledger ng uh, student, magkano yung balance niya at the end of the month, uh, receivable mo naman yan, assets mo, kasi uh, yung estudyante ang may utang sa sa'yo. Okay? So, balik-balikan lang po natin yung ating mga sample sa journal, sa ledger, yung mga uh, accounts, yung mga example natin, hindi man po tayo maliligaw. No? So, ang paalala ko lang ngayon, ang resibo natin, is the dalawa na lang, the official receipts, at saka ito yung sales invoice natin. So, please take note na yung ating mga nare-record po dito sa libro, magiging walang kwenta ito kung wala tayong mga supporting documents po na ilalagay dito sa ating uh, libro. So, with that, thank you. And uh, I hope na kapag dala po kami sa inyo ng additional information sa pag-record uh, po natin sa ating Buso accounts at uh, please... Stay tuned and please uh, upo kayo magsawa to continue uh, to subscribe us and to support us. Our aim for this training is for you to have a better tax compliance and hopefully madala po namin sa inyo lahat ng mga updated na information in taxation. So doon po, shout out po tayo sa ating mga subscriber. Thank you very much. Sana hindi po kayo magsawa. And uh, good day to everyone.